Look at your little heart. When I first heard about her, I immediately knew I had to take her in and do everything I could to give her a fair chance at life. You're so tiny. Hope was born with an exposed heart. There's no shell covering where her heart is. People would say she's just a turtle. Why even bother? She won't survive. I'm gonna take good care of you. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I was committed to keeping her alive. Hi, Hope. What are you doing? I started to monitor her weight and size right away because I wanted to make sure she was growing and thriving. She was pretty much the size of a coin when I got her. It was crazy how tiny and fragile she was. In the beginning, I had to feed her with a pair of tongs because she couldn't see well. There you go. Several times a day, I had to put the food right in front of her face to make sure that she was eating. Are you ready for breakfast? She got attached to me very quickly. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah? Since then, she's always been so excited to see me. She comes right up to the tank as soon as I walk into the room. What are you doing, Hope? Did you have a good day? The other really important thing was to keep her water clean and to keep her tank at the right temperature. Because if the water was contaminated in any way, it would have a direct way into the most vulnerable part of her body. That's also why you can't put some kind of a cover on it, because it would trap any kind of bacteria in there. I was always so scared and didn't know what to expect. I was constantly worried that one day I would wake up and she would be gone. But instead, she started to get bigger and bigger. Every month she kept putting on weight. I think after around six months, I was finally like, okay, she's starting to do well. And now she's over a year and a half old and she's still growing and thriving. Hi, Hope. Are you hungry? A lot of people think that you can't connect with a turtle in the same way that you can connect with a dog, for instance, but that's definitely not the case. Oh, I'm home. As soon as I walk into the room, she starts flailing her arms around and splashing the water. She's very playful. What are you doing? How was your day? I started sharing her journey on social media the first day I got her, and it's incredible to see how many people that she's inspired. She has her own stuffed toy and vinyl figure now, and the best part about it is that it's going to help raise money for charities. I still just can't believe it that she's made it this far. I think what's so inspiring about her, despite her condition, she lives her life like nothing's wrong. You having a little bit of a hard time? There you go. Uh, drop it. At least you got some.